Sprinkles versus two sheep. Do you know any? Do you know how like Super Puff would do against Snake? Um, he's got his rest setups, uh, his falling up air up till it's yeah. still yeah. applicable here. I don't know too much about it. I, I do know that the shield pressure on Jigglypuff is a bit more worrisome considering that he yeah. can break the shield now. Um, besides that, I don't think I've ever seen these two play. I I, I have none of that. Should be should be good. Just a heads up, y'all. I may have to leave oh. for a match. This is. Let's really look at the. Uh, Approach methods these players are going to be taking. Jake's is going to want to be coming, obviously, from a diagonal kind of down. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, like falling. Yeah, yeah, falling. Yeah. Wants to work his way on the inside. So that's where Snake wants you to be too. Mm -hmm. He's got the up B. He can. Can he still like diagonal make the up up smash diagonal? Like can he still change direction? I don't think he can change the direction. I, I always thought it was random. So if, if if that is something you can do, that's nice to me. Okay, because I remember him. Uh, Absolutely. Grab. Yeah, I guess he's quite down there. All right. I'm just. I'm not sure why it's red. Yeah, I think it might just be low on battery. All right. Well, we are hopping into winners finals still here. Sprinkles, wall of painting, a snake almost off the stage. Uh, Tunechi. Uh, Sprinkles coming from a very solid Jigglypuff melee background. I don't know how much PM he has played, but uh, Tunechi is one, one of the kings of PM around here, plays exclusively PM. He knows Snake like the back of his hand, and it he, he just seems to know every punish on every character in every situation, and it's, it's nuts. His, his neutral being Snake, Snake is neutral is inherently not very good, but his punish game is exceptional, and Tunechi is the embodiment of Snake in that regard. Neutral could could be better, but his punish game is absurd. Frankly absurd. And right now, ah, good back. Uh, make sure to back up so that way his back throw would hit exactly onto that mine without needing a DI mix-up. Now what do you think about this matchup? Because I, I kind of imagine Puff's aerial drift being able to kind of mess with some of the landmines. Uh, I would imagine that in a in a vacuum that Puff is favored in this matchup because she's mm -hmm. floating enough to get out a lot of snake setups. She can float over mines, float over. She's floating so much that darts are unlikely to sleep her. Yeah. However, I don't feel like it is one-sided enough for Sprinkles to take advantage of it without yeah. extensive knowledge of the matchup. So oh, I yeah. would give the matchup edge to Tunechi specifically for being a PM specific player. Yeah. Because look at that. Oh yeah. Sprinkles didn't see that. Only two Nechi saw that coming. <laughs> I would have said something if I saw it coming, but I didn't. I didn't even see the stick. Oh, there's a the stick and shield. Sprinkles is not going to be used to, to being able to get hit so hard out of shield. Oh, yeah. And that, that's, that, if he if he moved the mine, that may have been stopped right there. Jumping over the mine, throwing back there. She doesn't seem to be connecting. He didn't know how to edge guard there. Snake is a, is a sleeper. Wait, he went too high. Tunechi even knew. He knew he had time to set up a mine. He just destroyed it. I guess he didn't, he didn't like his mine. But <laughs> he set up a mine and then was like, yeah, I got time. Set up a mine and next. Oh, uh, hitting him with that pseudo infinite right there. That's <laughs> down smash, then Jack is to get off the down smash. Jesus. Tunechi putting on an expose of the matchup right now. Absolutely dominating performance. But you notice there, just a subtle thing. When he put down that down smash, if he messed up that Dacus in any way, he would have gotten hit by that. But he was so confident in his ability to Dacus off that down smash that even though there wasn't a particular need for it, he, he was that comfortable doing it. 
there is no chance he's going to pull that tech and he knew it. Because the spike, he was going to recover easily, but gifted by another spike. Kineshi will be able to make it back from that somehow without even needing to grenade himself. Pretty crazy stuff. There we go. Wall of pain. Swipe right. Right now, Sprinkles, uh, he just needs to find answers. Exchanges, mm -hmm. and he usually relies on going roughly even in neutral and then dominating the punish game. And if he does that, he can win. Yes. However, we see right now Kineshi is, is dominating the neutral game. You know, and that happens. There it goes. One grenade. And he just, mm -hmm. just calm falling down and throw a grenade, and then that led to a uh, sticky. Yeah. Uh, these are some fast jiggly puff games. These are some fast oh. snake games, I gotta say. Very rare that you see either of them at fast games. Best of five, Mark. You'll have to wait until until this set is finished. Alright, I'm imagining. Okay, he bans FOD. I would imagine. I, don't know. I think he doesn't know what to do, and he's just picking a stage he's comfortable on. That would be my guess. Maybe he knows something I don't. But this is a very non-stage dependent matchup, as far as I can tell. I'm not an expert on the matchup. I haven't seen. Doesn't seem like it seems like both characters benefit identically from from different stage mechanics, making it roughly even. Ooh, he did. He thought he could get over that mine, but uh, he didn't realize that mine has a, a vertical detection box that extends like a good foot above where where it actually is on the ground. That that has caught me a lot. Common for certain people who don't have yeah. support to Oh no, he missed no. Uh, I, I think it might be an accident. Yeah, oh, really an calm. excellent tech there. I love that setup, setup for Kineshi, but uh, he SDI'd into the ground and teched it, which evaded both the mine and the uh, fall of that would have been field break. Uh, yeah, if he rested, I don't think it was a guaranteed kill, yeah. but if, if it, even if it did kill, it was a guaranteed death. And he's playing from behind, so oh no. I, I do like that decision. Forward smash might not have been the. Yeah. There might have been a better option, like like, like a forward air, like a low forward air, uh, hoping for a combo. But that's definitely better than that. Uh, forward is that good enough? No, definitely not. Oh, missed input. That or he was going for a cheeky way to end the game. <laughs> was this lead? I would. Oh my god, that sticky was so disgusting. And Kineshi with a dirty 